Hello Max, back again. And it seems like every other day I buy a new Dakimakura cover. <laughs> no, not really, but I guess the circumstances are a little bit strange for this one. I mean, not strange, but unusual. And as you can see, when it's a new Ami Ami all day, the girls get excited and uh, they already tore into the box. So, so I guess let's just see what's inside the box. You probably know by the title of this video, but uh, I'm excited. I would say I'm a pretty big fan of uh, the Oregairu series or my team romantic comedy. So, so when I saw that there was a official Iroha Dakimakura coming out with really the my perfect kind of design, I would say, I just could not resist. So I was like, whatever i'll just uh, buy another daki but yeah i mean iroha doesn't get much love and i think she's underrated so i mean i love yui as well but uh, it was a close tie but to me you know it just yeah it has to be iroha so you have your usual thank you card from amiyami so let's put this out of the bag we'll put everything out and uh, the second item, which I will go into more detail later on, this one was at a very good price and I love the design, so I was just like, hey, why not throw this in with uh, the Daki, which I did, and I'm really glad I did. Let's get to the Daki. Mm. Feels pretty happy. Oh yes! I should really invest in a better pillow, but anyway, immediately I noticed that it's way softer than the Akino one. It's not the same um, mixture for the fabric, which is very strange, I don't know, maybe it's not the same um, manufacturer. Look at this, mmm, that's, that's glorious. There is one thing I really like, and it's uh, Onesans, I guess, you know. This one is like the teacher version with a... Uh, you know, an, an Onesan vibe, as I like to call it. But I really enjoyed the design. You also have it for Yui and uh, Worth Girl. But one thing I can tell you is that those two feel very similar. I don't know why, but this one is definitely more fragile and is um, pinched a lot. Sadly, it does get damaged very easily and I need to maintain it, but I love it, so whatever. And this one is uh, feels a bit more robust, but still very elastic, not as much. Very soft and high quality. I don't know how well the color turns out on camera, but it's, uh, I would say, based on my vision, it's very good. As you know, I, you know, I'm not very qualified to judge things based on visuals, but uh, yeah, uh, thumbs, thumbs up from me, that's for sure. I'm really excited about the new season. I guess it's the final season of Orega Iru, but uh, yeah, awesome. Last, but definitely not least, is this uh, is the Toho figure, which I bought used. It's, uh, it's an old model from 2010. I'm really impressed by the condition of the box, honestly, and everything. It looks like it's new, pretty much.
and bam! Amazingly enough, for a used, I mean pre-owned figure, it was brand new, like um, all the tape was brand new, everything. It has never been opened, I'm pretty sure, like there is no way, so I don't know how this works, especially since uh, AmiAmi still has the used page for this figure at the same price, so I don't know what happened, but for 30 bucks, a full, like, full on uh, Kotobukiya 1 8 scale, I'm really, really glad I did this purchase. So for anyone that wants to buy figurines or get into this hobby and uh, doesn't have a huge budget, I would highly suggest to look on AmiAmi Ami and see their pre-owned section. Let's close this. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this little unboxing as usual and I'll probably see you in the next video which should be either a Falcon cover or uh, who knows? Thank you for watching.